Hello, hi everyone. Today I'm going to cover the topic of how to create a chart that has the grand total within the chart in both Excel and Power BI. Okay, so let's start with a simple data set as we have what we have now. And as you see that in Excel, um, I first create a pivot table that shows me by year and by department what is the sum of the salary. And then um, if I just create the data from the chart, I get something like this, like only in the department part. And then let's say if I want to add this grand total um, columns, it's actually quite easy. What I can do is that you can see just what I'm doing here. Um, I actually linked like I referenced all the cells in the pivot table, which I was able to do just like that. So I copied the part of the table uh, pivot table that I want, go to an empty cell and paste link. And then you can see um, I have all the cells that I need, including uh, the grand total row. Uh, I get rid of this part. And then when I create, when I select this data set and I insert a, a column chart, uh, no, I want the cluster. Yes. And then when I do the chart, you see this is how it looks like. And then we can just have the grand total bar added to our Excel chart which is very easy, right? Okay, so um, I so for when I was trying to do this in uh, Power BI, actually it turned out it's not as straightforward as what we can do in Excel. But just in case that you also has a need as m myself, which is to recreate this in Power BI, I'm gonna show you how to recreate this in Power BI now. Okay, so the first thing uh, you do is uh, like make sure you have the original data set in your Power BI file, which I have it here. I have an empty one open. I'm just going to copy my data set into the Power BI table just to make it quick. OK, so if you have watched my previous intro videos on Power BI, you will know that it's actually pretty straightforward to create just uh, the co a column chart. You have the value, you have the department, and then you have the year. Uh, and voila, here is your, uh, here is a column chart. Okay, so the problem starts from here. How do we add the grand total uh, bars into this? So actually to show you about the data, let me first um, also recreate this. So I just paste this here, but I'm going to show it as a table. So you have, oh no, actually I'm going to show it as a matrix. So you have an idea of how the number is showing. So basically I want to add this line into my chart. How do I do that? Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is to um, make sure you have the department column. Um, to make sure to add the total within the department column. So to do that, actually create a new table for it. So you're going to enter data, create a new table, and then you can call it anything. Um, I'm just going to call it department with total, just to be 100% clear. And uh, I'm going to put in my department names. If your list is long, um, you can always have it in Excel and then paste it here. OK, so I have all my three departments. And then the next one I'm going to add is the total. You can also have it as grand total if you wish. And then for the name of the table, like name it as whatever you want. For example, me is department with total. OK, so now you have this new table loaded in. It's going to show up here and then let it sit there by itself for a while. OK, so now the magic that we're going to do here is to create a new measure, which is actually a new variable. OK, so what I'm going to do um, is to click on this new measure and then you can expand it. I'm going to paste in the code that I've already written here just to save you time. Um, but I'm going to explain it to it. I'm not going to explain it now because you don't, you, it, it will be confusing you, but uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I meant. So, okay, so let me change this into department. Yep. 
Yeah. Okay, so this is the data that we have. Um, and actually, Power BI is showing me that this part is wrong. And then let me just fix that. Okay, I think the reason is that there's a space into it. So I just need to select this column and then reselect the column so that it has the space as it want. Yeah, and then that's it. And then of course, this one is the same. Uh, don't worry about the code because I'm gonna um, leave it in, I'm gonna have the code paste into, uh, into the description. So you can just copy and paste it and use it for your purpose. Um, and so, okay, cool. Okay, so I think it's good. So now click enter. And then you know it's good when you see this measure is actually added into your table. You can put it in either table, it's fine. You can see that there's a calculator mark beside it. It's not an exponential mark. You know it's good. It, um, it means that Power BI think it's fine, it's calculating, and then you can collapse it. And then now let's recreate the table with the grand total. So this time still like choose the chart type that you need, like for my case, the column chart. Um, here for the axis, you choose the department with total instead, drop it. Um, for legend, still the year, we wanna show it by year. And then for base pay, we show by, uh, we uh, well actually that's a mistake that I was making, it's not base pay, it's actually total by department. Here you go. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. So you can see now it has a total bar. However, you can also tell the data itself is actually not right, right? Okay, so let's fix that. The reason that the data is not right is because that on the back end we have not linked the department name of those two data sets. So let's do that. So now you see we have two tables and the department name should be linked so they know that they can read data from each other because they're exact uh, they're the same file so in here i have only the department name and the total in here i have multiple department name rows that doesn't matter it's a one-to-many relationship now i linked it and then let's go back to my chart and here we go we have all the data here and uh, by department and we also have the total here uh, bars. Okay, so now you see how the chart works. Let me go back to the variable that I created and let me explain to you what, what it is saying. So actually, the way um, that it's doing is that it's the first line is actually creating the measure's name, which is what's displayed here. And then the measure name can have space to it. And then actually, as we have the measure name defined, we create a new variable within it. So VAR stands for variable. The variable name has to has no has to be one word. It has no space. So in my case, I named it as total by department. This is my name. And the reason that we create this variable is that we define it so that in our later formulas, we can use simply um, the variable itself instead of referring to the whole formula of it. So you will find it really handy when you have a really complex definition for your variable. So for in my case here, I define my variable as the sum of the base salary. So here data is the name of my table and base salary is the name of my column. So actually here I can rewrite this line of code for you. So sum is my um, formula or DAX. Um, I click tab, so it goes to, it asks me to select which table or which column um, I wanna use. So it's very handy, you can just choose whatever that's needed. So for my case, I, I just wanna sum the base salary column. So I click on it and then I close the bracket and then that finished my definition of my variable. Okay, so after I finish my definition of my variable, here comes the real calculation. So the real calculation for my variable is to say that return value based on this formula, this last line of formula here. And the value is defined in this way. So first we have an if statement. 
So the statement is that if the total by variable, this variable is blank, then we calculate this. If it's not blank, then we just use the variable's name. And this is important because go back to the chart. Let's go back to the chart and then you see for this axis, we are using the department name with the total. So when we do this calculation, when we have the value here, um, we know that when the name, when the department name is total, the base salary is going to calculate it as zero because we don't have the total row within this data table. So that's why we say, okay, if it's blank, which means that it's the total, it's actually referring to the total, then we do this calculation. If it's not, then we just go with the sum of the row, which is how we get to those three columns. Okay, so now it comes to the final part. How do we derive the total row? So the total row, so this part of the formula is saying that, well, if it's blank, which means that we know it's the total row, then we calculate the sum of the base salary. Re, in, uh, and basically we remove the filter for the year, which means that we don't care when we calculate those two bars, let's say, just talk about, let's just think about this light blue bar. When we calculate the total for the light blue bars, we remove the filter for the year, which is, 2000, uh, um, which is the 2019, which means that we are adding every single person, uh, every single department into this column instead. And the same applies to 2020. So when we calculate for 2020, we calculate the total regardless of the departments. And that's how we derive those two total bars. And then this is, and this is how it's calculating the total values. And this is what's showing here in this final chart. Okay, so um, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, this is my way of recreating, basically recreating this chart in Power BI versus what we are seeing in Excel. And uh, I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.